Hey, this is Josh, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to punch a hole into a dynamesh sphere using the curve bridge tool. Alright, first things first, I just want to get to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a mask. I'm using the default DinoWax project in case you want to test it out with that. I'm going to try it out on a weird shaped masked mask. Doesn't have to be perfect, just whatever shape you want to use. For me, it doesn't have to be anything special in particular. Alright, I'm going to go. Oops, not to masking. Polygroups, and I'm going to group masked. And I'm going to turn on polygroups. We've got our mask on either side. I'm going to go to geometry. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to do um, group loops. Uh, I'm just going to turn polish all the way up so it'll look nice and rounded on the edges. I'm going to regroup all that stuff. Okay. So, what you need to do is you need to get to a point like this. You've got your clean edges with your group. Uh, I use group loops to get clean edges because it it polishes up the the loop borders, which is really nice. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get to point with this where we've got our clean subtraction spot thing, whatever you want to call it. And then we want to delete hidden. So we just have two nice clean holes in our mesh. It'll make for a perfect, um, curved bridge. So once you're here, you're good. Um, you're just going to go over to the curve bridge tool. It's right here in your palette in case you want to know where it is. And step one with the curve bridge, I'm going to turn symmetry off. And we're just going to draw, using just left click, just draw around our hole. And just tap shift once, and it should find your surface. Um, and I'm just going to let go with my mouse. And we've got curve one there. I'm going to do the same thing around this hole. I'm just going to tap shift once again. We've got a curve around a second hole. Now once I let off this, it's going to merge the two with a bridge. And you'll see, just like that. How nice is that? And then if you want to get rid of your curves, you can edit them if you want, I'm sure. Uh, but if you want to get rid of your curves, um, just click once on your mesh. And voila, you got your curves uh, with your hole. So. That is one of the easiest ways I've found to punch a hole in a mesh. It's really clean. Uh, and you can subdivide and go on from there. It's a very nice, clean look. Uh, you can do it with mechanical surfaces as well. Um, in fact, uh, I use this a lot when I'm making guns and stuff. This is just super helpful. Um, so I'm hoping it can be helpful for you as well. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and toss them down below. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'll catch you next time.